will put the ball in play first and ten from their own 30 yard line. Their problem obviously however, is still a secondary. And uh, you said, Paul, oh, that's one of the, those are the toughest positions sometimes to fill in a young football team finding the key men. Whenever you look at a successful football team, take a look at the four defensive backs who's back there. Most of them are usually experienced and they're extraordinarily gifted football men. They're talented. Appleman on the draw. Up, up the middle, Pinder. Gain, not very much. That's a veteran for John Elliott's diagnosed. Diagnosed that one. Big fellow from Texas with the squeeze on him. Pinder gained three. Second down at seven. The ball of the 33 yard line. 2.40 left to go in the third quarter. 41 23, Charlotte leading Chicago. Wide right is Dalvin. He made a great catch a little while ago, but then fumbled the ball after he was nailed. Shifting defense by Charlotte. Kappelman back to pass. Kappelman. Being rushed from the side, throws it long to Kelly. Oh, he had it in his hands and dropped it, and uh, it's ruled incomplete. Kappelman seems to persist to attempt to show that ball down the middle that time. Uh, that was not even a spiral. That was kind of a wounded duck that flopped down through the middle. Kelly had a chance to pick it off, but he just, uh, as he touched it, uh, he took a pretty good wrap back there from the defensive back and couldn't uh, hold on. Third down and seven to go. The ball at the 33-yard line of Chicago. That popped pretty good. The Chicago fire, 9.48 left. Capone back to pass on third down. Gets away from one man, and it's going to be horse collared. And Craig Lenz. Greg Lamb pulled him into him, and uh, Carter Campbell was also there. Number 80, John Elliott. Double zones on the outside that time on both wide receivers, which means when a quarterback, if he can read it in time, certainly should look for a secondary receiver, a tight end. Number 89, Jim Gesford, was downfield, but uh, covered pretty well by our... Uh, uh, friend Bob Grant, number 61, a linebacker, running stride for stride for him. Kappelman does not have a chance, and uh, it'll be 4th and 15 with the ball in Chicago territory at the 46-yard line. Crittenden will kick with the win now. Richards, upfield on the 25. Here's the snapback, and here they're going to run it. Crittenden, it's a run play. He's to midfield. He's to the 45. He's down the sideline to the 30. He's to the 25. He's going out of bounds to the 22 yard line. Beautiful. It was run all the way too. Crittenden didn't even take the kick. He just grabbed the ball and took off to his left side completely. Uh, surprised Charlotte. He needed a bunch of yards for that first down, so it was a risky play. However, he picked up more than enough. He took it down to the 22 yard line. And, uh, well, that keeps the drive alive, of course, for Chicago. And they need it because there's only, well, nine minutes even to go in this fourth period. And they're down 18 points, so they need uh, three big scores if they intend to win this ballgame. Britton to the left, Dalvin to the right. Chapel on the quarterback, first and ten from the Charlotte 22-yard line. Looks like a break of the play. Here's Kelly up the middle on a quick pocket to tie the 15 and down to the 13 yard line. Maybe to the 12. Just a little full block in there and done very well by center number 56. Guy Murdoch, a second year man from Michigan. And uh, the left guard number 64, Dave Bradley. Just full action whereby the center uh, blocks the man that's over the guard, uh, the left guard this time, and Dave uh, Bradley just stepped back and took the linebacker who was uh, across from Murdoch. Kelly with that quick uh, start right up the middle for a good game. On the 12-yard line, second down, less than a yard to go for the first down. Chicago needs points, and they got to get it in a hurry here. They're in the fourth quarter. Here's the give. Being hemmed in is Kelly. Getting away from one man. Fights off another one. He'll be throwing for about a yard loss. It'll be third down. And a strong yard and a half to go now for the first down. The clock continues rolling. Eight minutes and five seconds left to go in tonight's football game here at Soldier Field in Chicago. Two old veterans that time stymied the attempt by Chicago and Leroy Kelly. Number 80, John Elliott, an eight-year man, and number 81, Gary Philbin, an 11-year man. Both uh, beat their offensive uh, blockers and were uh, across the line of scrimmage uh, quickly, which forced Kelly to uh, try to reverse directions and did not have a chance uh, once the pursuit caught up with him. 
Well, they got to go for the first down, obviously, first. Here's a third down play. Here's a spin, a quickie opener, and he gets to the 10. Fender has got the first down of the 10-yard line. So they've accomplished the immediate goal, which is the first down. But they've got to get into the end zone, and the quicker the better, because they trail here, 41 to 23. A touchdown will move them up to 30, and the action point will give them 31, but they still trail by a marker and a half, a full marker and a half. So they've got a lot to do here in the next uh, seven minutes and seven seconds. Kappelman breaks the team out of the huddle. Ball is just short of the 10-yard line, so they could make the first down. Not quite goal to go. Crittenden left, Dalvin right, Kelly in the slot to the left. Usually they pitch to Pinder on these plays. And they give to Pinder in a quickie pop. He's going to He is in there. That time they fooled him. That time they ran inside. The time before, the most of the guys had thrown the ball wide to him. This time he busted on a slant play right into the end zone. Boy, he got there in a hurry. Fender's very quick. Uh, he reminds you of Leroy Kelly. Two good, fast backs there. 6'2", 320, Cyril Fender. That's his second touchdown run uh, of the night. Uh, you mentioned it, Frank. One on a, uh, a pitch back, kind of a quick flip, and the other one that time, just a straight-ahead handoff. And uh, he ran very well, and into the end zone, that puts uh, the Stars uh, up 41-30, to 30, and they're lined up for the action point. All right, let's see. Every point is a big one. Here's Kappelman back to pass. Throws one over the middle, deflected, and it doesn't go. For the time of the field, the score of the Stars 41, the fire 30. There's time out.